Hey guys, Infinite Forges here. Uh, you creative people, let's talk about Forge. We're all desperate for it, right? <laughs> this is why I think Forge is gonna absolutely explode Infinite's player base later this year. Number one, is because of the fact that Forge puts the control back into the player's hands. The number one complaint that we have right now in the community is the fact that there's not enough game modes, not enough content. When people are given Forge, and when people are given the ability to just simply think of something and then create it, especially with all of the new content that we have, like the grapple hook and throwable fusion coils, think of the game modes just, for example, two of them, throwable fusion coils. You can make an insane dodgeball map off of that. When it comes to grapple hooks, Spider-Man game modes, where literally you could have infected flying through the sky with grapple hooks or you have to shoot them, you know, flying through a city, whatever crazy stuff you can come up with. It will breathe life back into Infinite. And I believe more that campaign and multiplayer and esports will be the number one thing that not only makes it survive 10 years, but thrive past 10 years. Take MCC, for example, look at the people that are still forging in Halo Reach and three and four. It's incredible the stuff they're making till this day over a decade later. And when you look at Forge in this sense as well, which is my second point, the reason why Halo 5's Forge wasn't really received that well, although it was incredible, is because of the UI. If Infinite can actually launch its Forge with a UI system that can be toggled to look more like uh, a simplistic version, right? Uh, of like a Halo Reach, Halo 4 type era of Forge, as well as having something that's more like a game dev type of looks, because I work in Unreal Engine and whatnot, I'm more used to that. Essentially what I'm saying is, if you have two different UIs that cater to two different levels of understanding, it allows people to not be so intimidated, and it, it really just cuts down the learning curve for Forge. Uh, I, I would assume that's probably not an easy task to do, but I do believe 100% that if the UI is there and it allows for people of different understandings to just easily jump into the experience and create and place objects and just have fun at a, at a very simplistic level, as well as something that's just very high end and, and uh, more in line with what like an actual level editor is like, uh, we will have an incredible time because then you will have both people that are making amazing layouts and landscapes and overall just immersive experiences and then people that are just there to create goofy fun experiences or just starting to learn what Forge is all about because there's a new there, there's a whole new player base in Halo so there's a lot of people that are going to experience Forge for the first time and that is nothing but exciting so if those two things right or that one thing actually really it's because we know that when Forge releases there's probably going to be a huge spike but if the ui really gets worked around where essentially it allows people to just get into it with ease it's going to be a massive success custom games will go through the roof and we're really 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 going to have some exciting times ahead of us so that's my opinion those are my thoughts leave your comments down below what do you think and i do all things forge Literally, showcases, game nights, live streams of how I build my levels, tutorials, anything you could possibly think of, I'm going to be providing here. So if you guys are interested in that, consider subscribing, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.